Hey, good morning. We are going to review Microsoft PowerPoint Lesson 5.3, A Moment in History. Okay, so um, this is from Schoology. This is what your instructions are going to look like. Just a heads up on two of the instructions. I'll go through these when I go through, but number seven, it says apply a window transition to all slides. Just apply whatever transition you want, but be sure it does go to all the slides. And then at the very end, uh, step 15 and 16, for some reason, we don't have this functionality on our school computers. So we are going to skip 15 and 16. So what it will look like, uh, this is what your ears will look like at the end. Okay, they're showing you, if I go look here, they're showing these pictures here in these, um, in the other, um, in the title slides. So we're not going to be doing that part. So you will look like this when it's finished. Okay, so I have started this. I have actually gone in and actually done the typing just so you don't have to watch me do the typing. Notice the slide layouts, okay? So that's something people always overlook. If I look back at the instructions, it tells you what slide layouts. So slide one should be a title slide, slide two should be a section header. So it shows you what slides, blank slides, on. so it shows you what slides to add. So this here, remember if you're not sure, I always go to layout. This shows me this is my section header. This one is my blank. So that's how I set those up. Okay. And I typed all the, the, the things in they needed me to type in. So I am ready to get going. So we are on page. Seriously? Um, well, I was filming a video, but yeah, well, you can come in. I'll be, I'll be right there. Let me see. Okay. Sorry about that interruption. So we are, I'm going to go to section, I'm going to slide at instruction four. So I keep the title and subtitle. Okay, I'm going to make this a picture. So slide five says go to design tab, uh, customize group, which is over here, and I'm going to format the background. So click here. And that, so what it looked like, this is what it looked like your screen. Once you hit this, this appears over here. Okay, I want to choose a picture. So I'm going to go picture. And I want to go online and it says just look for a picture. So basically I'm looking for a picture of a photographer. So I'm just going to go, okay, there's no right or wrong picture. Um, I like this one. I just like the colors. So I'm going to choose that. So what it does is it makes this the background. And then step E tells us to make the transparency 50%. It's right there. So if you make this higher, it'd be very dark. So we're making it 50% just so we can see the, see the actual words. And then you change if you need to. You could change these to a different color, like black works for this for me. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, if you need to move things around, you could put the title up top if it makes more sense with your whatever picture you chose. Um, okay, so step seven says apply a transition. So I'm going to go to transition. I'm going to choose, I'm going to do a split. Okay, and remember this, we need to apply this to all the slides. So if I click right here, apply to all. Boom, every one of these will be done. So that way we don't have to do it each time. Okay, slides two, four, six, and eight. It says key the titles and subtitles. I did this from the format background slide here. You want to do a solid fill option. So solid fill. Choose a color that fits with what I did. So this is like an orangish reddish. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to choose something like, like uh, maybe not that. Maybe something like that. So I'm going to choose that. So I need to do that for four, six, and eight. So what I'm going to do is show you if I hold shift down and I do two, but four, six, oops, no, I'm sorry, hit control, control, four, six, and eight. And I choose the background. It's going to make it the same for all of them. Okay. Let me save you a little bit of time. Okay. And then let's see, you can do the spell check. That's just up here. If you spell something wrong, it'll pick it up. And then I got to put the pictures in. So I'm going to go to step, let's see here, uh, in three, oh, step 10. So three, five, seven, nine. I got to find these pictures. Okay, so I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go, um, I got to look for the photographs. I want to fill a photograph online. I'm going to do a milk droplet. Milk droplet, hit enter. I like this one, so I'm going to click on that, say insert, and then I'm going to make it 0% transparency, so for it's dark picture. Okay, and then I'm going to go to this one here, and this is the Oscar selfie. So this is a pretty famous picture by Bradley Cooper a couple years ago. 
So I'm going to say Oscars selfie. I'm going to put Bradley Cooper. A lot of people try to do it after him. And I'm just going to choose this one here. Say insert. Okay. And then once again, it should be on zero transparency. Got that. I'm going to save this just so I don't lose all my work. Next one is Man on the Moon. This is another one that you could pretty much choose any picture you want. So I'm going to say Man on the Moon. Um, I like this one here. So I'm going to say Insert. And that's my picture there. And then my last one is Lunch Atop a Skyscraper, another famous picture. So I'm going to do online. Lunch Atop a Skyscraper. And so this, I'm just going to choose this one here. Actually, I like, yeah, that line was fine. Oops, insert. Zero percent transparency. I've got that. So that is all we can do on this one because we can't do step 15 and 16. So I just did um, 10, 11, and 12. And 13, you can just spell check if you need to. And then I've got everything done. So that's all you need to do to really use this. That's how you use your format, your backgrounds for pictures. So just save that, submit it. And if you have any questions or if you want to check it, you can just go through here and make sure your transitions work. So this shows everything working. Okay, so that's all. So if you got any questions, let me know. Thanks.